Well, right after I went to bed last night, um, I looked at my phone right before I fell asleep, and the story popped up, and I couldn't believe it. It was about 10 p.m. last night, and NBC News reported that the White House postpones Biden's trip to Saudi Arabia and Israel. Well, yeah. it says the White House never publicly confirmed a June visit to either country. Sources told NBC News a broader trip to the Middle East is now planned for July. By Andrea Mitchell and Josh Letterman. NBC News says that President Joe Biden's planned visits to Saudi Arabia and Israel later this month have been postponed until July, several officials told NBC News on Friday. The White House is now planning a broader trip to the Middle East next month, sources said. We are working on a trip to Israel and Saudi Arabia for a GCC plus three summit, a senior administration official told NBC News. We are working to confirm dates. When we have something to announce, we will. A foreign diplomat and two U.S. officials said the Saudi stop will no longer take place in late June, and two U.S. officials said the trip to Israel was also being pushed back. Both visits had been expected to be tacked on to Biden's previously scheduled trip to Germany and Spain this month. The reason for the delay wasn't immediately clear. The foreign diplomat and two officials said they learned of the postponed travel plans on Friday. The U.S. officials added that the dates remained in flux and could change again. The White House declined to comment on the travel itinerary, so they're kind of just keeping it secret, I guess. The Israeli and Saudi embassies in Washington did not immediately respond to inquiries on Friday. Biden's plans to visit Saudi Arabia came under swift scrutiny given the country's human rights record and the president's own past comments about the oil-rich country. A group of relatives of victims of the September 11th terrorist attacks wrote to Biden this week saying that if he travels to the kingdom, he must raise issues of accountability over alleged ties between some of the 9-11 hijackers and Saudi officials. Yet Saudi Arabia, a close U.S. economic and military ally, has traditionally been one of the first foreign stops a president makes in the Middle East. The Biden administration has found it difficult to avoid cooperating with Saudi Arabia given its major role in many of the top foreign policy issues confronting the Biden administration, including Israel-Palestinian tensions and the Iran nuclear deal. Biden has also been looking for ways to help drive down the price of oil and gas. I don't believe that. As his administration faces ongoing pressure to do more to lower the price of fuel heading into the midterm elections. NBC News reported Thursday that Biden was expected to visit Saudi Arabia and Israel later this month, citing five sources with knowledge of the matter. The White House never publicly confirmed those travel plans, but sources told NBC News that the Biden administration had informed other countries that the visits were happening in late June and that the White House and State Department were preparing for the visits. Biden asked a reporter on Friday morning about reports of a trip to Saudi Arabia, said a stop was possible, but that was not sure whether I'm going. I have been engaged in trying to work with how we can bring more stability and peace to the Middle East. And there is a possibility that I would be going to meet with both Israelis and some Arab countries at the time, including, I expect, would be Saudi Arabia, would be included in that if I did go, Biden said. But I have no direct plans at the moment. We are looking at it. Uh huh. The Times of Israel also reported today at 8.16 a.m. Biden's visit to Israel, Saudi Arabia, pushed back to July. 
U.S. official says White House needs more time to plan trip that will include several stops. Israeli official says administration still debating various aspects of travel plans. U.S. President Joe Biden's planned trip to Israel and Saudi Arabia has been pushed back to July. Two U.S. and Israeli officials confirmed to the Times of Israel on Saturday. The U.S. official said there were scheduling issues and that the Biden administration needed more time to plan the trip that will include stops in several countries. Dates for July have not been finalized as the White House is still waiting to hear back from the various host countries, the official said. The U.S. official added that the delay had nothing to do with the Israeli political situation and that the status of Prime Minister Naftali Bennett's fragile coalition is not a determining factor of the president's plans. The initial plan was for Biden to visit Israel for two or three days during the week of June 19th, continue to Saudi Arabia for a day or two, before attending the G7 summit in Germany on June 26th, the Israeli official said. They added that the White House was still debating certain aspects of the trip, particularly the portion in Riyadh, which has extra political sensitivities as Biden on the presidential campaign said he would treat the kingdom as a pariah state. Biden also scaled back support from a Saudi-led air campaign in Yemen amid revulsion over civilian casualties. NBC News, which first reported the delay, said the Biden administration is putting together plans to hold a summit in July with members of the Gulf Cooperation Council, which is made up of Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, Bahrain, Kuwait, Oman, and Qatar. We are working to confirm dates. When we have something to announce, we will, an official was quoted as having told the network. The NBC network came as Biden said Friday that his upcoming trip to Israel had not been finalized while confirming he may also visit Saudi Arabia while in the region. The administration is looking to shore up its Mideast alliances and press Riyadh to increase oil production amid surging energy prices worldwide. Speculation over the upcoming trip to the Middle East had intensified in recent days with some reports linking the journey to U.S. brokered talks between Egypt and Saudi Arabia that could include steps towards normalization with Israel. I'm not sure whether I'm going, Biden responded when asked at a press conference on the economy about whether he'd be traveling to Saudi Arabia. Biden told Prime Minister Naftali Bennett during their phone call in late April that he planned to visit Israel in the coming months, but no official date was announced. An Israeli official told the Times of Israel last week that the trip will likely take place the week of June 19th and include a visit by the president to East Jerusalem. A U.S. official said Biden will also travel to the West Bank, otherwise known as Judea and Samaria, and meet with Palestinian Authority President Abbas. Well, I was thinking, wouldn't it be interesting if it landed on the 9th of Av? So I looked up when the 9th of Av is for 2022, and it's landing in August this time. Tishbiav 2022 begins Saturday, August 6th at sunset in 63 days, ends Sunday, August 7th at nightfall. The last few videos I've really tried to bring you some very important information and I couldn't believe it when I went to bed last night and just was about to turn out the light and I saw that he had delayed his trip and, and couldn't believe that he said, I don't know if I'm going. Well, these kind of trips have to be planned way in advance. You know, they have to set up everything, you know, the flights, the car, um, to and from the venue and, you know, to different regions where he's going to meet. So this change in plans is just kind of a very interesting twist. So anyway, this is the breaking news and I just wanted to bring it to you. I'll talk to you later.